penguins are one of the cutest winter animals in the entire world. They slide on their bellies, eat tons of fish, and swim super fast through the water. And because it's officially the first week of December, I added penguins and all their powers into Minecraft. Now I'm going to be turning into a penguin for the next 100 days, all while three Eskimos try and capture me in their nets for my fur. On day one, I spawned in as a tiny little penguin. Oh, look how cute I am. Though I realized I only have six hearts, and I'm assuming that's because I'm a baby penguin right now. Luckily, I have an upgrade menu where I can turn all the way into an emperor penguin, but we'll worry about that later. Because for right now, we got to worry about these guys, the three Eskimos up on this hill. Now, the second I leave this area, they can attack me. And if they get me in that cage by day 100, I lose this challenge. But now it's time to make a move, so let's go. Okay, let's go to the ice. Penguins are fast on ice. Get him, he's moving. Oh, here they come. Get that penguin. I'm hungry for penguin nuggets. No, I need to get far away fast because the Eskimos have nets. And these nets can capture me and hold me and make it super easy to put me in that cage. Okay, there's a tree up ahead. Let's go to that first and get some wood. Get back here, happy feet. Okay, all we have to do is grab three pieces of wood and we'll be good for a second. Okay, we got two pieces of wood. It's not enough. They caught up. Okay, let's get up this hill. I have an idea. Oh, he has a sword. He has a sword. He has a sword. Oh. Ow. Oh, he had a net in his hand. I gotta go. Surprise. Nice. We got a third one. Okay, let's go down here. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a little more than I wanted it to. Ooh. Okay, let's go this way. I have an idea here. Here we go. Ready? Ow. Ow. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm super low. Guys, get him off me. Please. Try and... Oh, he caught me in his net. Oh, no. I did catch him. I caught him. Yeah. Oh. We got the penguin. Can I kill him? No, wait. <laughs> wait, what? what? Okay, this way, this way. Okay, go this way. Oh, they're on my tail. Okay, we made some planks. I have an idea. Our hunger's getting low, but I can get away from this. Ooh. No, I'm stuck. Okay, we got oh, one. We got my one. God. Whoa. 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 Oh, Ooh. I got food. I got food. I got food. We love penguins. Oh, I'm in the net, I'm in the net, I'm in the net. Come on, we're taking you back to the cage, come on. Yeah. This way, okay, it's snowing. Get him. Okay, quick, make crafting table. Nice, I got it, go this way. Oh, I'm too hungry, I can't run. Oh, they're getting close, they're getting close. Make I a boat. You. Oh, I get the boat, I get the boat, I get the boat. Okay, we'll go this way for now. Oh, I left my boat behind, I can't chase him. Oh, I see a big ice mountain up ahead. I want to live there. I mean, I'm a penguin. Where else would I live? I gotta live in an ice biome, and that's cold, so that'll work. Oh, this ice mountain is a village. Oh, look at this. This is cool. I'm living in this ice mountain village. This is the perfect place for a penguin. In fact, this cave back here where this house is, this is gonna be my base. Oh, perfect. I already got a bed. So I guess for now, let's just go ahead and start doing some of the basics. Let's start by grabbing some more wood real quick. Okay, now let's make a crafting table, and let's make a wooden pickaxe. Now let's grab a few cobblestone. And now let's make ourselves a stone pickaxe and a stone axe. And since the sun's starting to set, let's just grab a bunch more wood real quick. Okay, we're back at the base. So let's start by cutting open this entire back wall. And let's take some of this coal from the ceiling and let's make some torches. Now let's light up the inside of this cave and block off the outside with a giant wall. And there we go. With that complete, we now have our base complete. What kind of just looks like a village house on the outside actually leads to my cave base over here. But obviously this base still needs a lot more stuff like chests, furnaces, and you know, survival stuff. So let's go to sleep and then we're gonna start working on the base on day two. After escaping from the Eskimos, I went ahead and finished up my base on day four. With the penguin base complete, I can finally start working on my penguin upgrades. Okay, the first penguin base is complete and it's pretty straightforward. Once we go into the village house, I just added some chests and some furnaces and made a little escape hatch in case I need to make a quick getaway. But yeah, that's the base. And now that the base is complete, we're organized enough to start working on our upgrades. Now, if I open my upgrade menu, you're gonna notice I have both evolution upgrades and utility upgrades. And if you've watched our past videos, you know something is missing here. Normally, we have combat upgrades. And you'd be right, there are no combat upgrades in the menu. But that's because we have to go find a penguin that's gonna give us the combat quest to actually unlock the combat powers. It's kind of confusing. So before we start working on upgrades like Belly Slide, let's go find the combat quest penguin so that way we know all the upgrades that we can work on right now now here's the thing i know this penguin only spawns in igloos so i have to go find one of those and luckily the spawn was in the right biome so i'm gonna head there and start looking oh i see an igloo up ahead i see an igloo and there should be a penguin inside of it Oh, there is, there is. And look, he has all my combat upgrades that I can unlock. And the first one is called Peck. And since I went through all the trouble of finding him, let's do it. Now to unlock Peck, we have to catch 30 fish, kill 30 chickens, and kill two of the Eskimos hunting us down. So let's go back to the base real quick and make a fishing rod and start catching some fish. Okay, we made it home. The sun's rising, but that's fine. Cause right now we just need to go get some string anyway. So let's go go down to the mine shaft and break a few cobwebs. Okay, so let's go in, let's go over here and grab some of these cobwebs. Okay, I've got all the string I need. And now let's get out of here before all these skeletons murder us. Okay, now let's go and let's make ourselves a fishing rod. And let's go catch 30 fish. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard, right? Gotta wait for that bobber to go down. Come on. Oh, I see particles. It's going in. 
Yes! And that's one fish caught. Now I just have to do that 29 more times. Okay. Okay, we caught all the fish we needed. So now we just need a few chicken kills and Eskimo kills. And we'll be able to unlock our first ability, Peck. Okay, we need 30 chicken kills. And I'm definitely not gonna find any chickens up on a snowy mountain. And I believe there's a plains biome over that way. So let's go there. Ooh, I'm killing chickens right now. And I can see... Oh, do they see me? Okay, I saw two Eskimos while killing chickens. And they're coming at me. Okay, let's get my shield on. Oh, I see a third. There's a third there. Oh, he got me with that. Wow. Do you have a slowness arrow? I have an idea. Hold on, let's go up here. Oh, let's go. He's trying to pull me back. He's trying to pull me backwards. Okay, let's go this way. Who get him? Dodge that. Dodge that. Okay, let's eat some bread. Okay, I don't think I have the strength to fight all of them right now. So let's just get up here. Oh, they got the net. They got the net. Oh, he's coming up. Sam. Oh! She does damage. Who? Oh, we're low. We're low on HP. Go this way. Let's eat some food. Okay, one's coming in. One's coming in. He broke free. Oh, I'm surrounded. Dude, he printed me. Oh, we got one. We got one. They don't fit in one high gaps. Let's go. We're going down here. I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. This isn't a long river, but it'll give us some speed. Okay, they're on my tail. They're on my tail. We just need to get to a big patch of water and we can get away. Come on. Okay, we're at the ocean. Boat in. Go. There's no way I'm catching up to that. No. A cursed penguin. Nice. They don't have a boat. They can't catch me. Let's go. We're getting away. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. Is that literally completely wasted? Is that wasted a ton of time? I thought I'd already have the chicken kills by now, but we don't. So, uh, let's quickly go finish those. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We got all the chicken kills we need. And now we legit just need one Eskimo kill. Which shouldn't be too bad. Which shouldn't be too bad since we already got one. Which is probably actually gonna be slightly difficult to get. Seeing as there's three Eskimos and only one of me. But we have no choice. So let's go find their base. Since no one was at spawn, I knew the Eskimos had to have moved somewhere nearby. But I truly had no idea where. And I wouldn't even find them until day 11. That's not natural. That has pots in it. Hold on. Oh, that is definitely not natural. Is that the cage? Oh, hold up. I think I just found their base. I'm 99% sure. Okay, this is definitely their base. I literally see one of them on top of the cage. And I'm assuming they must have a command to move the cage from base to base. Because otherwise, I don't know how they keep getting bedrock. Okay, either way, I just need one kill. Gotta be sneaky here. Ooh, there's an iron column. <gasps> oh, there's one right there. Did he see me? Oh my god, they didn't see me. I gotta be careful though, because if they get me in their nets, they could just put me in this cage immediately. Ooh, I found a hidden cave they have. Okay, I'm in their mine shaft. What if I hit one of them into the cage? I could totally get caught if I do that. Ready? And going. Are you guys <laughs> fishing in the barn? <laughs> oh, yeah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Oh, he fell in, he fell in, he fell in. Okay, we didn't get the kill on him. Oh, there's two of them on me. I can't let him get me in the net. I'll just kill him. Okay, we got him, we got him, we got the two kills we need. Let's go, let's get out of here. Oh, our health is low. Oh, oh, we're on half heart. Oh, polar bear, please. Oh, we can't take any fall damage here. Dive. He's really low, he's really low. I'm right behind him. Ooh, eat the bread, eat the bread, eat the bread. Oh, he caught me in his net. Oh, I broke free, I broke free, I broke free. Go. Oh, he's got me low. Oh, he's got me in the net again. Hold on, where's my shield? Put my shield back on. Oh, he dropped me again. He dropped me again. I'm just swimming up. I got an idea. I'm just gonna boat away. Actually, hold on. Where can I go? This way. Go this way. Go this way. They dropped me from their net. Let's go. They don't have a boat. Nice. Right, so we just keep going this way. We can escape. We can escape. We can escape. We got everything we need. Okay, we've made it to the igloo. So now if we talk to the penguin inside, you're gonna see we can unlock Peck, which is an ability where when I use it, I give blindness and slowness to anything I attack after using it. Let me show you. Okay, so if I go over here and activate the ability. It makes that weird noise. And then if I punch this sheep right here, this sheep now has blindness and slowness, which is hard to see, but there are particles there. But that ability is really only useful against the Eskimos, so we'll have to use it more as a defense technique. Anyway, with our first combat upgrade done, let's stick to the basics. And let's unlock Belly Slime, which requires 30 slime balls, 30 blue ice, and 3 suspicious stew. Now, to get 30 blue ice is actually kind of tricky this early in the game, as we don't have an enchanting table, and we're gonna need Silk Touch to get it. Or that's what you'd think, anyway. But I got super lucky earlier, and while I was looking at a broken nether portal, I found a golden pickaxe with Silk Touch. And we can use that to go ahead and get the blue ice. Okay, so let's grab the golden pickaxe. And now we just need to grab a bunch of blue ice. Now you're gonna notice there's two different types of ice right here. But I think both those are wrong too. The only place to really find blue ice is by going to some icebergs. So let's head there and quickly start grabbing some. There's a few icebergs right around here. Now let's see if we can find ourselves some blue ice. Okay, I found a patch of blue ice. It's literally on the side of this iceberg. You can see it has this dark, dark blue color. So let's start mining it just to make sure it is blue ice. And it is. Okay, now we just need 30 of these. Okay, the pickaxe broke right on time because we officially got the 30 blue ice. Now we just need some slime balls and suspicious stew, but let's get back to the base for now and work on that tomorrow. Okay, it's day 13 and all we need left is some slime balls and suspicious stew. And we can only get slime balls at night, which it's uh, very much not night right now. So today I'm actually just gonna go mining for some diamonds so we can get slightly better equipment. And then tonight we'll go get some slime balls. 
all those mining, I found a slime. We got our first slime ball already. Okay, I'm at the swamp biome and it is definitely night outside, but I don't see any slimes yet. So we're just gonna keep jumping around here for a little bit till we find some. Enemy spotted. Okay, we got the first slime. Let's get him. Bring it on, big guy. And a bunch of little guys. Okay, that's six slime balls. We literally just need 24 more. Oh God. Okay, the sun's currently rising, and I only got 19 slime balls. So I still need 11 more. But since no more slimes are gonna spawn, we'll have to come back tonight. We'll have to come back later tonight. Okay, so obviously we need to finish the slime balls to unlock our belly slide ability. But we also need three suspicious stew. Now, to make a suspicious stew, you need to make a mushroom stew, but add a random flower into the recipe. And yeah, that's really it. So first things first, we gotta get ourselves some mushrooms. So let's head to a dark oak biome and quickly grab some. Okay, here we go. I found a dark oak biome. Now we just need to grab some mushrooms. Let's grab this red mushroom right in front of me. Okay, we've got all the red mushrooms we need. Now let's go cut down a giant brown mushroom. And now we've got all the brown mushrooms we need. Now let's simply grab some flowers on the way back. And now we can craft suspicious stew. There we go, four suspicious stews done. And if we look at the upgrade, all we have left to do is grab some slime balls later tonight, which speaking of, let's start heading to the swamp now. Okay, we're here and I already see a slime. Let's go grab them real quick and see how many we get. That one slime gave me all the slime balls I needed to get to 30. Now we just have to go home and do the upgrade. Okay, good morning. It is time to finally unlock another upgrade. So if we open our upgrade menu, we can now unlock belly slide, which I've done. And now, if I go to a flat surface for safety, I can slide around on my belly and go super fast. Look how fast I'm going. Now, sliding really fast isn't all I can do. The first thing is if I slide on ice, you're going to see I go even faster than I did before. Look at this. And even better yet, I can break through any soft block, including dirt, sand, and gravel. So see all this dirt right here? Yeah, I can just break right through it. So yeah, belly slide unlocked. And now that we've unlocked that, it is time to finally increase our HP because I am sick of only having six hearts, which means it's time for an evolution upgrade. No longer are we going to be a little baby hatchling. It's time to become a macaroni penguin. And to do that, I need 24 fish, 24 ink sacks, and 32 feathers. Now, it just so happens I had to kill a bunch of chickens earlier. So at the base, you can see I already have 22 feathers. And for this upgrade, I need 32. So I still need 10 more. So let's quickly go kill some chickens and gather the rest we need. Okay, there we go. I got the 10 feathers I need, meaning I just need some ink sacks and fish. So let's just go store these feathers back at the base and then we'll start working on some fish. Wait, why do I see nameplates up there? Oh no. I think the Eskimos are literally at my base right now. I see nameplates. Oh God. I need to get up there quick. I don't have time. I don't have time to go the long way. Okay, we're here. Yeah, they've TNT here. They've TNT here. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's a surprise. Ah, oh, they're sending it off. Oh, back of five little hearts. I can't stay in there. I can't stay in there. Oh God. They destroyed it. Okay, hold on. Let's activate Peck. Get our bread out. Okay, now I should blind them if they come attack me. Oh my God, he gave me blindness and slowness. Okay, one's blind. Oh. Oh, I killed him, I killed him, I killed him. <laughs> what the? Oh my God, it teleported me to their base. Oh my goodness. They may have destroyed mine, but I now know where your base is. Oh my God, I brought him, I, I brought him into our base. I have their coins. Oh my God. <laughs> the game bugged and it teleported me to their base. You know, I'm using this chance just to get out of here. They blew up my base anyway. We need to build a new one. Oh my goodness, that was the glitch of a century. Oh, he's still chasing me. He's still chasing me. Oh no. I don't have a boat on me right now. Oh God. Oh, we have belly slide. Hold on. The belly slide's gonna help me get away. This is gonna work good. This is gonna work good. Nice, we got to the ice. We should be able to get away now. Nice, we're gone. Look at us go. We're out of here. There's no way they catch us. Let's go. After my amazing base was destroyed, I moved to build a new one much farther away. I also gathered all the fish and ink sacks I needed to become a macaroni penguin. Welcome to the brand new penguin base. Just below this mountain right here, if we go down these rocks, there's actually a hidden base down here where my cute little penguin now lives. Now this base is even more simple than the last one, but it does have a nether portal, which conveniently leads to a nether fortress. But yeah, that's the base. And more importantly than even the base, I've recollected all the stuff I need to become a macaroni penguin. Okay, let's grab the ink sacks and some feathers. And now let's go from a baby little penguin into a macaroni penguin. Look at me, I even got these little yellow feathers on my head. Now I don't mean to be that guy, but I'm actually a penguin nerd. Dude, when I was younger, I actually was obsessed with penguins. So I actually know that a macaroni penguin is not the penguin with yellow stuff on his head. This is a rock hopper. Whatever penguin we are, we've now got 15 hearts of HP, which is overpowered. And on top of that, I now have aqua affinity. So if I dive under this water right here, I could breathe for pretty much ever. 
Okay, maybe not ever. Just a little bit longer. Anyway, now that we're a rock hopper penguin, I think we should go for another combat upgrade. So let's go back to the igloo and go talk to the combat upgrade penguin. My new base is actually super close to where the igloo is. Literally, it's right here. Here we go. Now we just have to go in and talk to the penguin who is gone. Oh, no, wait, he's in the backyard. Oh, my God, there's two of them. Anyway, we just need one of you. And the next upgrade I want to work on is called Snowflake Shuriken, where I can throw a Snowflake Shuriken that gives five seconds of freezing. Now to unlock it, I need to dig 100 snow, get 30 mob kills with a bow, and snowball 50 players. So I think the first thing we got to do is go make a shovel. Let's open up our ore chest and grab a couple iron ingots, and let's make ourselves a couple iron shovels. Now we need to dig 100 snow, so let's start digging. There we go, 100 snow dug. Now let's make sure we collect all these snowballs because one of the other quests is throwing 50 of them at the Eskimos. Okay, we'll store the snowballs in here for now for safekeeping. And now we're gonna go head down to the mine to try and kill some spiders so we can go ahead and make another bow. Oh, let's go. This actually works out. We found another abandoned mine shaft in the cave, so we don't even need to kill spiders or skeletons. And there we go, just like that, string acquired. Now let's make ourselves a bow. And now we're ready to get 30 mob kills tomorrow. Okay, it's day 25. We just need some mob kills with a bow. And with the bow made, we literally just need some arrows. Now, we currently still have 24 feathers and a ton of wood, meaning we just need to start digging up some flint. Okay, we got 15 flint. That'll definitely be enough. Okay, let's go ahead and first make some arrows. And now we combine it with our feathers and flint, and we get ourselves 60 arrows. Now let's just go get some hostile mob kills with the bow, and all we'll have left to do is snowball some Eskimos. And there we go, we go 30 and 30 bow kills, and now we just need to get 50 Eskimos with some snowballs, which we can wrap up tomorrow. Okay, hello on day 26. It's time to get our 50 snowball kills. And I brought extra diamond shovel, just in case we need extra snowballs. So with that in mind, let's go back to the Eskimo base and quickly start a snowball fight. Okay, we're back at their base. Now again, I have to be very careful because I can already see the cage up above. And if they get me in that cage, again, I automatically lose the game. Now because of a glitch earlier, I actually know exactly where they spawn, right up ahead of me. I think one of them may have just seen me. Oh, he didn't. I thought he saw me. Okay, let's break all three beds. Now they can't respawn. Now we should have pelt them with some snowballs and we should be good. Now let's build up on the roof and let the snowball fight begin. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm getting... Oh, dude, there's a penguin on our base. They can't pull me off as long as I'm holding shift. Now they don't realize that I need to get these snowball kills. So, oh, he hit me down, hit me down, hit me down. Grab some more snowballs. Okay, we just need 25 more. Okay, we're taking some damage. Oh, oh my, gosh, oh my, oh my. I got a test space. They're getting me to the cage. They're getting me to the cage. Okay, we're free. Okay, I got away really quick. Let's go up here, eat some food. Okay, we got 35 snowballs. Nice, they can't catch me if I slide away. We got 39 now. Okay, they got me in. Well, get him, get him, get him. We got him. Okay, let's slide. There we go, nice. We took some damage, but it was worth it. Okay, they're on my tail. I got some snowballs though. One's literally right behind me. Nice, we got 47. We need three more. We got them all. We got all the snowballs we need. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's use this little pad. Oh my goodness. Nice. And we got another one here. We can get away. We can get away using this ice. Coming down slowly but surely. Dude, he's so fast. He's gone, bro. Oh, we're gone. We're gonna lose him. Yes! Oh my god, we're gone. We are so gone! We are so gone! There's no way they catch me. I can belly slide away so fast on ice. Okay, we can now unlock Snow Shuriken. Let's quickly head over to the igloo so we can finish it up. And now let's trade with our penguin friends so we can unlock Snowflake Shuriken. Which you know I gotta try out. If I hit on bed three, you're gonna see that I throw a snowflake out into the world. Now, it only takes a little bit of energy from my bar, as you'll see, but it should do a bunch of damage to anyone I throw it at, as well as give them frost damage. Just like this, where you'll see I'm now taking frost damage because I'm so deep in the snow, which uh, I should probably quickly get out of before I die. But yeah, that's what my shurikens will do to anyone I fight. But now that we have shuriken unlocked, it's time to work on our next upgrade, the Royal Penguin, which requires 64 gold ingots, 15 diamonds, and one white banner. And by white banner, it means ominous banner, which you can only get from a pillager tower, but I don't have to worry about that yet. We're going to worry about something else first, which is the easy part, getting 64 gold ingots from the nether. So let's quickly jump in our nether portal, and now let's quickly go find a bastion. Okay, I found a bastion. Now let's just break our way inside. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Okay, let's start checking out some of these chests. Okay, first chest. No gold. Nice. Okay, here we go. Gold block. Oh, this one has three gold blocks in it. Ooh, we got another gold block here. That's five. Ow. 
Ooh, just chill. Check out these chests. No gold in this one. Ooh, this one's got a bunch of arrows in it and a bunch of gold. How much gold? How many gold ingots is that? Oh, we literally have exactly a stack. Okay, we've got the stack of gold we need from here, so let's just go ahead and get out of here. Okay, next we just have to grab some diamonds. Specifically, we need 15. Now, if I check my chest, I currently have six, seven, uh, seven. I have seven total diamonds, meaning we need eight more. So let's quickly go mine those. That really shouldn't be too hard. There we go. And just like that, we've officially gotten all 15 diamonds that we need. Now it's simply time to just find a pillager tower so we can get an ominous banner and become a royal penguin and get a ton more hearts. So it turns out pillager towers are not as common as I thought. Whenever I make these videos, I almost always find one within the first 10 days or so. But this time, I didn't find a tower until day 33. Oh, I see one. I see a pillager tower in the distance. Now we just need to go get an ominous banner there by finding a pillager holding one. Okay, we killed three of them. I need to wait for one with a banner to spawn. It's the only way I can actually get the ominous banner. Okay, we got another one here. I found one with a banner. Let's go take you out. There we go. We got the banner. And now I can become a royal penguin. So goodbye, tiny little rock hopper macaroni, whatever you are. It is time to become the royal penguin. Look at me. I have a crown. So now I'm officially a royal penguin with 25 total hearts of health. And on top of also having aqua affinity, I also get dolphin's grace now. So I swim extremely fast whilst going through the water. So now it's faster for me to swim than it is to even use something like a boat. Okay, now that we're a royal penguin, let's work on our next upgrade food pouch, which requires 10 leather, 20 string, and 30 fish, which basically gives me the power to eat any fish and gain both regeneration and a massive strength buff. Now this is definitely the ability I need to take out the Eskimos. So we want to get this one quick. So let's start by getting the 30 fish by finding a lake and killing some salmon. Oh, hold up. Yo, I see the Eskimos over there on the ice, but they don't see me over here in the water. Now I could leave them alone, but I actually haven't had a chance to test my new abilities yet. So I kind of want to sneak up on them real quick. Actually make some- Oh! What? Whoa, it's a Dude, penguin. It's a let's get him with our shurikens. Oh, they put lava on me. Okay, they have me in a net. Let's dive in the water. Dive, 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 dive. I'm chasing. Whoa! Now, the thing is, they're going to drown under here if they try and get to me. I have Dolphin's Grace, so I can swim under here for a while. Oh, I see him. Oh, no! Oh, ah! nice. We got one of them. Let's go this way. Let's see if we can get him with some shurikens. Okay, I'll swipe my, my ability, so he's going to be blind and slow. Dude, I just hit you. He hit his teammate. Now he's blind and slow, too. Okay, we killed him. Oh, he's done. Okay, we should need to slide over here. Slide over here. Now, he can't get me under here, so I'm good under the ice. Oh! <laughs> he literally just broke my shield. Let's go! We win! Okay, my penguin powers are starting to get really strong. We still need more fish, though, so let's keep fishing. And there we go. We've got the 30 fish we need. So now let's go back to the base and start getting the string and leather. So to get the 20 string I need shouldn't be too hard, as there is an abandoned mine shaft just below this base. Okay, here we go. Now let's just steal a bunch of this string right here. And there we go, we got all the string we need. That was easy. Meaning all we need left is 10 leather. Now we just need to kill a few of these cows for their leather. There we go, we've got the 10 leather. So let's unlock food pouch, which doesn't really do anything yet. So let's quickly go grab some fish so that way we can test this ability out. There you can see if I eat the fish, I suddenly get regeneration. And if we look at our strength bar, we now have strength three. So I need fish to be strong. So the rest of today, I'm just gonna go ahead and catch a bunch of salmon I could use for fish. And tomorrow we'll start working on the next combat upgrade, which we'll grab at the igloo. Okay, I found the combat penguin stuck in a hole. So uh, I'm gonna leave you here because this actually makes my life way easier at finding you. Now let's unlock frosty breath, which let's just basically blow out a bunch of cold breath that'll freeze and knock them back, which honestly sounds pretty good. So let's go ahead and unlock it. I only need to freeze myself for 20 seconds, get the hot tourist destination achievement and get five player kills while they're frozen which shouldn't be too hard because i have shurikens so let's start by actually freezing ourselves for 20 seconds because that's probably the easiest part of this upgrade so let's just go find a spot with some powdered snow that we can go sit in and hopefully suffocate here it is let's go step in wow it's so toasty in here and now that we're in this snow we're gonna start freezing to death Let's get out of here. And there we go. 20 seconds of freeze time already done. Now let's start. Now let's go back to the base and head to the nether so we can quickly get hot tourist destination. Okay, we're back home. So in another portal we go. And now we simply have to go to every single biome in the nether and we'll unlock hot tourist destination. It took a couple of days of traveling around the nether, but I was finally able to get to each and every biome that I could find. Thus unlocking the hot tourist destination advancement. Now that we have hot tourist destination, all we have left to do is go ahead and get five player kills while they're frozen on the Eskimos. Now this part could be kind of annoying to do as the kills only count if they're completely frozen. So to guarantee that we'll have enough shurikens, we need more snowballs. So let's quickly go grab a shovel and let's start gathering some more snow. 
That should do. Now that we got that, let's head to the Eskimo base and take them on. Okay, I got to their base and I accidentally started a raid, so they know I'm here. Except I don't see them anywhere. So I'm starting to think that they're literally not here anymore. And my bad for starting a raid, villagers. I, I didn't mean to do this. My bad. Once again, the Eskimos had changed bases, meaning I had to find their new one again. Ooh. I found a used cave. This has tons of torches in it. I didn't place a single one of these. There's definitely someone living here. They might be on top of this mountain. Let me check because I feel like I'd see the cage because they're moving that cage around. Oh, I see their names. They definitely live here. There's the cage right there. Okay, I need five frost kills. So I'm gonna have to use a lot of shurikens here. I don't want to fight them up here. Oh God, there's powdered snow. No way they didn't see me. No way they didn't see me. Ready? Oh, there's two of them in here. Penguin out here. Oh my oh. God. Penguin. Here we go. We gotta freeze him. We gotta freeze him. You gotta start taking damage eventually. Oh, they're putting me in the net. No. Okay, broke free. Broke free. Broke free. Go this way. Oh, I'm stuck in powdered snow. Oh, we're freezing. Oh, goodness. Oh, they used that to get me out. Let's go. That work. Get him over here. Oh, God. Oh, dude, not this stuff again. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. There we go. We got a freeze kill. Okay, we're taking some fall damage there. I did not like my spot. I knew he was trying to hit me down. It was obvious. Let's go this way. There we go. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Ah! Nice. We got him. We got him. Oh, there's one above me. There's Keep taking blocks. Come on. Nice. We got some good blocks here. Nice. We got him in the snow. But you can't kill me in here, buddy. There we go. I'm out. He's out too. Let's give ourselves strength. I have an idea. Okay, one's going in the snow. Okay, we killed one. Now he should be... We only have one frozen kill. These frozen kills are impossible. We're going to have to get really creative here. There's one above me. Oh, the cage is right there. I gotta be careful. Let's go this way. I have an idea. He's coming in. He's coming in. Okay, we should hit space 20 times. Nice. There we go. That counted. That counted. We got a frozen kill. We got two now. I got an idea. Let's do dessert. There we go. Oh, I'm caught in the net. I'm caught in the net. He let go. He let go. Oh, dude. He destroyed me. Nice. We got three frozen kills. Surprise. Oh, where's my shield? Where's my shield? We got a shield. We got a shield. We need to get a snowball. Oh, he got me again. We only need to hit it 20 times and then let's snowball this guy. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. They got me in the fire. I gotta go. Let's go this way. There's one behind me. Let's get some regen on. Nice, we got one. We got four frost. We literally just need one more frost. Oh, we got it. We got a five. We're out of here. We're out of here. I am leaving. We're taking way too much damage here. Okay, we got super far away, and I've definitely ditched them. And now that we have everything unlocked, let's go back to the base, because oh my god, was that a pain. Okay, now that we have the combat quest done, let's turn it at the combat penguin, who's just down here. And now we've unlocked Frosty Breath, which I can use to actually launch myself out of this hole, because it launches me into the air in the opposite direction I'm facing. Now, on top of that, it's going to also send my enemies flying away from me, give them slowness and freezing damage. Sorry, horse, you're my test subject. And the horse is actually freezing now. But definitely the most useful part of this ability is the ability to quickly fly. Okay, now that we've gone ahead and unlocked the next combat upgrade, let's get the third utility upgrade. Because once we have that, there's only two more upgrades of each category to go. To get it, we need a netherite ingot, a diamond shovel, a diamond pickaxe, a diamond axe, and 64 iron ingots. Now, I'm pretty much mostly done with that. I have most of the iron I need, and I can easily get some more diamonds for some diamond tools. The only hard part is that netherite ingot, as I'm going to need to find four ancient debris to get that. So let's go back to our base for now and just start mining. Okay, let's go ahead and let's start by smelting up some of our iron. And let's make a fresh set of diamond tools that we can use for the upgrade. A pickaxe, an axe, and an extra shovel. Now let's grab all a bunch of our iron that's smelted. Okay, there we go. 64 iron ingots. And now if we look at the upgrade, all we need left is that netherite ingot. So let's go to the nether and start mining for some ancient debris. We actually already have two ancient debris that we got from a nether fortress earlier. So we only need to find two more. Okay, we've got all the ancient debris we need, which means all we have to do is throw it in this blast furnace. There we go. Now we just combine the four netherite scraps with four gold ingots. And we get our netherite ingot, meaning now we can unlock the reinforced beak, which is basically a pickaxe that goes in my inventory. And this is it here. Let me show you how it works though, because while the beak itself doesn't look that cool, it actually is really cool. Now, as you can see right here, we have three gold ore. And if I right click it with this beak, you're gonna see I actually get six gold ore because this beak lets me double all ores that I mine. And this works on every ore, including ancient debris and iron. Okay, it's day 48. Let's grab another upgrade from our combat penguin down here, which the next upgrade is called Herd Protection. And it summons a group of emperor penguins that are all gonna protect me. Now, if we look at our upgrades, we're gonna notice that we only have two more penguin upgrades to go, two more utility upgrades to go, and two more combat upgrades to go. So we're getting pretty close to finishing this penguin. But to get the next combat quest, we gotta kill 25 <laughs> wolves, 25 polar bears, and use frosty 
breath 25 times on players. And I'm not gonna lie, the hardest part of this is actually probably the wolf kills. You probably thought I was gonna say the polar bears, but to be honest, there's so much snow biome here, I don't think we're gonna struggle to find any polar bears. But I do think finding wolves is gonna be extremely difficult. <laughs> wolf kill we need meaning all we have to do left is use our frosty breath on the eskimos and since i know where they live it's time to murder okay we're at the side of their base once we're up here they're gonna see us so we have to be very quick about this now i only need to use my frosty breath on them 25 times so it's probably gonna be a good idea to get some height so they can't get me i don't see anyone on that tower okay let's get up the side over here ready under here under here under here we're doing good so far they haven't seen us get behind this thing here we go we just gotta frost breath them here, I got you. How many? Oh my God, he's he's here. He's at our front door. Once, twice, three times. Okay, that uses a lot of energy. Let's build a tower now. Okay, they're starting to come up. Anytime I see them come up, I can hit them down with my breath. Oh, but I can hit myself down too. I forgot about that. Six times, seven. Okay, they're starting to come. We need to wait for our energy. Okay, fish does give us some energy back. So let's use that. Okay, let's go up here. Whoa. Oh, ow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, I can't get up there. Nice, we got 13 already. We need energy back. Let's go up here. Nice, he's gone. He's done. I just set him off the mountain. Oh, dude, you're gone. Did you water bucket? Okay, another one's going off the mountain. Let's get on top of the igloo. We only need a few more. 20. He froze to death. This frost bath also freezes them. 23. Two more. We just need two more. We can get out of here. We got 25th. And let's go. I got him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> our house, our mountain. I should be able to get away still. Okay, I lost them in the woods. So let's quickly hurry home and unlock the next combat upgrade. So let's quickly head back to that igloo and unlock the next combat upgrade. We're officially under 50 days remaining. And the Eskimos are definitely still stronger than me. I just have a lot of cheap tricks up my sleeve. So because of that, I want to become a king penguin. And you're going to see this requires a lot of stuff. I not only need five ancient debris and 15 emeralds, but I also need full enchanted diamond armor, including the helmet, the chest plate, the leggings, and the boots. And because I don't have an enchanting table right now, Let's go make one. There we go. We got the four obsidian we need. And since we already have the diamonds upstairs, let's just go grab some book materials and we can make ourselves an enchanting table. Okay, we've got a boatload of sugar cane, which should be enough. Now let's go make an enchanting station. Okay, our enchanting station's done. So now we'll have no issues getting the enchanted diamond armor. In fact, we're still a few diamonds short from getting full diamond armor. So let's go mine for it right now and finish it up. Okay, we've got 24 diamonds, which is all we need to make diamond armor. So let's go make it and get it enchanted. Let's make a diamond chest plate, diamond leggings, diamond boots, and a diamond helmet. Now let's grab our lapis. Let's try and get protection one on all our armor if possible. There we go. Protection two, protection one, protection two, and protection two again. Though we don't get to keep it for long, because obviously we needed to become a king penguin but we still need to mine for some emeralds and ancient debris to do that so let's go mine for some emeralds now emeralds only spawn on icy mountain biomes so that's where we're gonna head to since there is a ton of them around here like this one right here where the eskimos old base is this should have a ton of emeralds in it okay i found a way into the cave let's start going down and booyah we already have emeralds okay we already got four meaning we only need 11 more which shouldn't be too hard since we can literally double all ores Okay, there we go. We've got all the emeralds that we need to become a king penguin. Meaning all we need left is some ancient debris. Meaning, yeah, we're going back to the nether. We have two ancient debris at home. And in total, we need five to become a king penguin. Meaning we need three more. But because of our reinforced beak, we actually only need two more. Because every ancient debris we mine is doubled. We got one. Let's go. First ancient debris found. And there we go. We've got two ancient debris. Now we just need to go find one more. Yes, let's go. We found the second one we need. And there we go. Four ancient debris. Okay, back to the base. There we go. I just saw him. I shouldn't have. No, I knew it. What do I do? Where do I do? I'm going back here. I'm going back here. He's here? Oh, God. Uh, I killed myself. Oh, what am I going to up? Hold up. Go this way where it already blew up. Grab my stuff. Grab my stuff. Okay, there's the one here. Let's make him go blind. Okay, now he's blind. Nice. We got him. We got him out. We got him out. We got him out. Now let's breath out of here. He's trying to drown me. He's, it's not going to work, though. They're trying to blow me up again. They're trying to blow me up again. Nice, we got him. Well, my base is definitely not alive anymore. Uh, and I have a bunch of stuff on me. I guess we can get rid of that. That's all junk. I mean, well, that's that's really all I can grab, I guess. Okay, but with this base destroyed, let's just go make a new base somewhere else where hopefully this time we won't be disturbed and blown up. I'm not gonna lie. Losing that base was actually really annoying. I really like that one. But complaining isn't gonna help me survive until day 100. So once again, I moved on and built a new penguin HQ somewhere else. Okay, welcome to the brand new penguin base. This base is actually kind of awesome. It's pretty big and it's got everything I need. We got the nether portal there the enchanter there my beds right there all our chests and furnaces over here and our exit right here the entrance to the base is actually right here but there's no way to leave through the entrance so you gotta leave through this little side door now to actually get inside of the base you have to go right here you're gonna notice how there's this big ice patch but there's a little bit that goes this way if we slide ourselves in there 
we're gonna naturally just automatically fall down into our pool of water and we're officially in the base but yeah now that the base is done we need to keep working on upgrades because we are running out of time and we are still not even a king penguin at least not yet anyway we can become one right now and so that's exactly what we're gonna do so if i take off all my armor and keep all this stuff in my inventory if we go over to king penguin you'll see we can unlock it and so we're going to and we're officially now a king penguin my crown is huge and i still fit outside my tunnel which is good but with king penguin unlocked it's time to work on a new ability called happy feet and no i'm not talking about the movie now happy feet is an ability that gives us jump four and slow falling for 45 seconds and any arrows or projectiles that hit me during that time well they just bounce right off now to unlock it i need one set of enchanted netherite boots nine disc fragments 10 jukeboxes and 32 note blocks and since note blocks are super easy to make let's quickly go grab some redstone and craft all 32 we need Okay, we got all the redstone dust we need. Now let's make an absolute boatload of note blocks. So right now, if we go ahead and spread out all our wood, we can make ourselves 16 note blocks. But we need 32, so we're gonna need like double that. So let's quickly make some more. And there we go. Just like that, we got ourselves the 32 note blocks. Now you see the green note block quest, meaning we've completed it. And now we're gonna go look for an ancient city because we need nine disc fragments. And well, the only place to get that is, is an ancient city. So let's go find one. I went around looking for an ancient city for two full days. I even checked under mountains like you guys told me to do in the comments, but I still found nothing nothing until day 67. Okay, that's definitely an ancient city down there. So let's start making our way down this way and let's see if we can find ourselves some ancient discs. Okay, I see some chests over that way. So let's go there first. Okay, we've got a couple chests. Please have some disc fragments. Let's go. We already got two disc fragments in the first chest. What about this one? Oh my God, we get three more. We're already at five disc fragments. Okay, there's no disc fragments in this one. Nice, we have two more disc fragments. We literally just need two more. Okay, let's check this one. Yes, we got the disc fragments. That is definitely all we need. Oh yeah, we got them all. Now we can get out of here. Okay, well, now that we've got all the disc fragments, we legit just need some enchanted netherite boots and 10 jukeboxes. Now, each jukebox is gonna take a diamond to make. Currently, we have 12, which is enough. So let's combine these all into blocks and that'll give us the 10 jukeboxes that we need. And now with those complete, we just need some enchanted netherite boots. And since we can double all ancient debris we mine, we just have to go find two and we'll be all set. Okay, now let's throw the ancient debris in the smelter. Let that smelt for a sec. And now let's grab some gold and let's throw that in here. Now let's grab four netherite scraps and four gold ingots and let's make ourselves a netherite ingot. Now we just need some diamond boots, which uh, we don't have, nor do we have enough diamonds for. So let's quickly go run to the mine and grab a couple diamonds and then we can make the netherite boots we need and enchant them. Okay, let's make some diamond boots. Now let's combine them with another netherite ingot and we have netherite boots. Now we simply grab some lapis, throw the boots in the enchanting table and give them unbreaking three. And now if we look at the upgrade, we can officially unlock happy feet. Ta-da, happy feet unlocked. Now let's go try it out by jumping off a mountain. Okay, so if I use the ability, you're gonna see that I can suddenly jump really high and I slowly fall to the ground. Look how high I got though. And look how far I'm jumping. It's basically as if I'm running on the moon. So yeah, I'd say that this is gonna be super useful because catching me is gonna be near impossible when I'm bouncing around like this. But now that we've unlocked Happy Feet, there is only three more upgrades to go in the entire penguin upgrade tree. And many of those upgrades I have to do in the end. So let's quickly go grab the next combat upgrade before we start making our way to the end. Okay, let's go to the combat upgrade penguin and let's grab our last combat upgrade cold snap now to unlock it i need to kill an ender dragon kill three elder guardians summon 30 snow golems and get 10 kills with crits but like i said we gotta go to the end so let's make our way to the nether and start getting some blaze rods luckily our new portal opens up right to another fortress so getting these blaze rods is gonna be super easy to get Okay, we've got all eight blaze rods that we need. Now let's go find a bastion and start trading some gold with some piglins so we can get their ender pearls. Okay, let's get into this bastion real quick. Now let's quickly find as much gold blocks as we can. Okay, we've got 16 gold blocks, which is probably not enough. So let's go find a few more, then we'll do our trades. There we go. We get two more gold blocks in this chest and a silk touch diamond pickaxe. We've got a few piglets trapped in this hole right here. So now we're just gonna go ahead and turn all our blocks of gold into ingots and just toss them all inside of here. And now we simply just gotta wait till we get ender pearls and hope we get enough. Okay, we actually got all 16 ender pearls we need. So we can actually kill all of these guys and just take our gold back from here. And just like that, we have everything we need to go to the end. So let's head back to the base. Okay, let's turn all our blaze rods into blaze powder and then let's combine them with our ender pearls and that's gonna make us the eyes of ender that we need now before we actually go and find the end portal let's quickly split up our sand and start getting it smelted in the furnaces because if we look at the last penguin upgrade you're gonna see we need dragon's breath so we need to quickly make some glass bottles before we get going there we go we got all the glass bottles now let's make our way to the end okay let's start by throwing an eye of ender which is going this way oh the eye finally turned around it's going back this way oh it's somewhere back here okay that broke it's literally below us it's literally right below us it's gotta be it's gotta be right below us i'm pretty confident it's right down here we're in we're in we're in let's go okay we just need to find the portal room we found it we found it already let's go and the portal's ready okay let's dig our way out of here real quick okay here we go let's do it let's start by taking out all his ender crystals we got it let's go now we can take on the dragon nice give me some dragon's breath 
We filled our whole inventory full of the stuff. Now we can just kill him. Okay, this dragon's getting real low. Next time he purchase, he's done. He's done. He's done. We got the dragon. Let's go. Okay, let's get that egg. Where's the egg? And we got the dragon egg. Yes! The Eskimos are here. They can't capture me while we're in the end here, but they can definitely try and get the kill, which, which is still a win if they kill me. Nice. He gave me aqua affinity. That actually helped me. We got him. Nice. Two down. Oh, we got one on. So he's netting me. That's not going to help you here. Are we going to try and drop me off the edge? Oh, that's scary. That's scary. Let's get away from that. I didn't even think about that. They can just drop me into the void. Okay, he shouldn't be able to catch up to us too quickly. Okay, let's throw the ender pearl in. We're good. We got it. Oh, this is not a good spot to be, though. Oh! Oh, he's done. He's done. He could have just killed me. He almost just killed me. Oh, no! Okay, we made it to the outer end. Now we just need to go ahead and find Elytra and a dragon head, which we can use for the Emperor Penguin upgrade. Now, the only place you can find Elytra and the dragon head is by finding an end ship. And finding an end ship can be tricky. So, let's start looking. With the Eskimos taken care of, I just needed to get Elytra and a dragon head from an end city. But finding an end city with an end ship always seems to be the hardest part. And I wouldn't even find one until day 76. I found an end city with an end ship. Let's go. We just need to get over there. Let's get up there the easy way by using the Shulker's Levitation to help us. Now we're just gonna float all the way up here, and we're at the end ship. There we go, and we're on the ship. There we go, and we're in the basement. Now let's break these things, quickly kill you off. And we got the Elytra. Now we just need to grab the dragon head, which is literally just right here. So let's quickly grab that. And now we've got the dragon's head as well. And now let's make our way back to the portal. And we are home. And we officially have everything we need to become an emperor penguin. Look, if we look at the last upgrade, we're done. I just got to take the elytra off. And we can say goodbye to the king penguin. And hello to the emperor penguin. I have a massive cape, sharp teeth a massive crown, and I'm muscular as heck. This is an amazing penguin. And if you look at my HP, I have 50 total hearts. Now, on top of having 50 hearts, this penguin is actually really OP because I've actually gained the ability to breathe underwater permanently. And the best part, I've gained the ability to fly. Literally, look at me. I'm flying. It's so ridiculous because penguins can't even fly. So why am I able to fly? Anyway, let's make our way back downstairs because we've still got two upgrades to go. The combat upgrade, Cold Snap, and the utility upgrade, Igloo. And to unlock those things, there's a bunch we gotta do. But since we specifically need to have a nether star for the Igloo upgrade, that means we have to go kill a wither. So let's go back to the nether fortress and get ourselves some wither skeleton skulls. Oh, we got a second skull. We got a second skull. Why do we hear damage? I knew it. I heard one of them. Oh, Cody sees me. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, it's a trap. I didn't even see them. Oh, they got me in the net. They got me in the net. Nice, we got one. One's dead. Oh, he's gonna knock me off. Oh, I'm dead. Nice, another one's done. Nice, they're all done. Dude, I'm so strong in this final form. With the fish bonus, I currently have strength five. Also having sharpness three, I'm literally killing them in like two to three hits. Oh my God, is that broken? Okay, we officially have all three wither skeleton skulls. So let's quickly go grab some soul sand now. That way we can summon and kill the wither. Okay, let's put down the soul sand right here. So let the battle begin. And luckily I can just melee this wither to death. And the wither's dead. Yay. Now we wait for the nether star to fall. Oh, there it is. I see it down there. Aha. And now with the nether star in hand, we just need a totem of undying and a heart of the sea to unlock the igloo upgrade. So let's work on getting the totem of undying next. First things first, let's grab a bunch of sugar cane at the desert nearby. Okay, we've officially got all the sugar cane we need. It's just the sun setting. Let's go home and sleep. And tomorrow we'll finish getting up the glass panes we need to get the totem of undying. Okay, now let's go and let's dig up a bunch of sand as we're gonna need to turn the sand into glass panes to get the woodland mansion map. Now, wait a minute, hold on. Can I use my slide ability to break sand? Oh, I can, that's so much faster. Okay, I got the two stacks of sand. That was stupid easy like that. Now let's go back to the base and get it smelted. And now while all our sand smelts, let's get everything else together. Now, currently we have 13 emeralds total, which is all we'll need for this trade. Meaning the only th other thing we need is a cartographer table, which is simply four wooden, two paper, which means we can make it nice and easy just like that. Now let's grab a bunch of our glass and let's turn it into glass panes. And there we go. Two stacks of glass panes complete. Add in the paper and we officially have the two stacks of paper we need as well. And with that, we can trade for the woodland mansion map. Let's just make our way to a village. Okay, let's give this cartography table to one of these villagers. Okay, there we go. This guy's now a cartographer and we can now trade him paper for emeralds, which we're going to do until he's fully leveled up. And there we go. His bar's full, meaning we can exit off and his little icon down there should change. There we go. Now we're going to trade him our glass panes. And he's done with that. And now we can actually get the Woodland Explorer map by simply giving him emeralds and a compass. And I forgot the compass, so let me quickly go make one. Okay, now let's go. Let's trade this guy. And let's go ahead and get our Woodland Explorer map, which we can then put in our offhand. And because of our compass, it'll show us the direction we have to go to get to this Woodland Mansion map. So if you look closely in the upper left, you see that tiny white dot. Because it's in the upper left, we know that we have to go southeast if we want to find this thing. With the map in hand, I had to travel all of day 83 and some of 84 just to reach 
reach the Woodland Mansion. Yes, here it is. We found it. We can easily get a totem of undying here. Let's go through the roof. Now we just gotta find a guy who's gonna give us a totem. Let's eat a fish. We have string. There he is. That's the guy we want to kill. Dead already. We got the totem. There we go, another totem of undying. Okay, after a quick look around, there was only two totems of undying in this mansion, but since we only needed one of them, that's a mission accomplished. Now let's just fly back home, even though we gotta fly over 10,000 blocks. Okay, if we look at the igloo upgrade, we officially have the totem of undying, which means we just need the heart of the sea, and we can finish that up. Since we have to go to the ocean to find both the Elder Guardians and the heart of the sea, let's start going from shipwreck to shipwreck and looking for some sunken treasure. Okay, we found a shipwreck. There's two chests on board, so let's hope that... Oh, there's three chests on board. Oh my god, we got a buried treasure map on the first one. Check the these bottom ones just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be empty. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's a bunch of junk. Anyway, let's look at the buried treasure map. As we can see, we're actually not too far from it. We really just get ahead pretty strong east, and we should be able to find this thing. So let's just, oh, we're actually really close. It's right below us. It's literally right below us. It's somewhere in this monstrosity. We found it. It's literally right here. And boom, we got a heart of the sea. First try, and we got the exact item we needed. And with that, we can actually unlock the igloo upgrade, which you know I'm gonna do. And now let's go try it out, because I'm really curious how OP this one is. If I hit on pet seven, you're gonna see it spawns a giant igloo right here and it spawns a ton of snow golems that will attack everything nearby like this chicken and inside the igloo you're gonna see it spawns like a base we have beds furnaces barrels a nether portal chests and even a beacon that is up to tier three and the best part is i can now steal these blocks now that i've cut this entire beacon down i can actually use all the iron block which is over 80 by the way to build ourselves a max tier beacon now do i need to do that right now no but do i have the option if i want to yes now we need to go ahead and start getting some Elder Guardian kills, so let's keep looking around the ocean so we can find some Elder Guardians. Okay, I found one of the underwater monuments. Luckily, brought four things of milk with me because I already have mine in the team. Let's drink one of these milks and quick right there. there we go, and he's dead. Now let's look for some more Elder Guardians in here. There we go, he's done. Now we still need one more, but there's only two Elder Guardians in here. So let's go find another monument and hopefully find another Elder Guardian. Okay, we found another water monument. Now let's just get inside and find an Elder Guardian. Nice, he's done. We got all three Elder Guardian kills. And with those complete, we literally just gotta summon 30 snow golems and get 10 critical hits and we'll be a fully upgraded penguin. Okay, we're back at the base. I went ahead and set up the beacon I took from the igloo earlier. So now in my base, I get strength at all times. And if I eat a fish, I get strength five. Meaning you combine the two, I get strength six. And I don't even know if that's a thing, but I think it is. Anyway, there's only two more upgrades to go and then we can finish the last combat upgrade. And there's one easy part and one hard part. So let's quickly get rid of the easy part by summoning 30 snow golems, which we can first do by collecting 30 pumpkins. Now let's get a bunch of blocks of snow. There we go. We got all the snow blocks we need. So now let's quickly craft ourselves some shears and let's shear all the pumpkins. Okay, now that we have 32 carved pumpkins and 64 snow blocks, we can spawn all the snow golems we need. So let's go and let's build a bunch of different snow platforms. Okay, all the snow's down. Now let's just spawn them all. One, two, three, four. 30 snow golems! And they're all at the entrance of my base, meaning my base is definitely not hidden anymore. I guess it really wasn't because of the beacon. But yeah, it's definitely not hidden now. Anyway, let's go back to the base and let's go to sleep because there's only one more thing we have to do to become a full strength penguin. Okay, hello, it is day 89. One more power to unlock. So let's make away to the Eskimo base and let's teach them a lesson. Okay, their base is just up ahead. And I see, oh, they see me. And here's the best part. I can fly. So getting me in that cage is gonna be near impossible. And I can do cool cinematics like this and they can't really do anything about it. I need to get 10 critic kills. So let's do it. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, we sent him off the mountain. He's off the mountain. Okay, that gives us some time. He was trying to get up to me to net me. Now the thing is, I don't want to let him net me. So we're just gonna push him back. Okay, let's spawn an igloo and have our guys start fighting for us. Oh, they all just died. None of my people survived. We need to get our energy back and respawn them. Okay, let's spawn it right here. There we go. We got Niglo in the sky. That'll work. Okay, now let's get our guys in there to start fighting. Nice. We got a crit hit. That's one of our crit kills we need. Nice. We got him. We got him. We got him. Let's get our strength back. That's two. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Oh, let's get him into this cage. Oh, no. Oh, he's out. He's out. Nice. Oh, we got the crit kill. We got the crit kill. Nice. We got another crit kill. That's four. That's four. Nice. We got it. Five kills. Five kills. Nice. We got him. That's two. Nice. We got another one. That's eight. Nice. We got another. We literally just need one more. We literally just need one more. Nice, we got him with the crit. And we have everything we need, and I don't want to keep fighting, so we're just gonna go ahead and take our leave with that. Okay, here's our combat penguin, and we can officially unlock Cold Snap, our final upgrade. And with this unlocked, we have another super broken power. If I go ahead and use this power over here, you're gonna see that it spawns a ton of snow golems and snowballs that rain from the sky and kill everything in this radius. Cold Snap is insanely broken. And now that that power is unlocked, we are the fully upgraded penguin, and we only have to survive 10 more days, and we'll have 
survived 100 days as a penguin in Minecraft. So anyway, from here, now that I'm fully upgraded, we just have to head to our base and wait for the Eskimos to come attack. From days 91 to 93, I waited for the Eskimos to attack, but they never showed up, meaning they either have some crazy plan they're working on or they're waiting for me to come to them. Either way, I'm really bored, so I'm gonna make a move. Okay, it's currently day 94 and the Eskimos still aren't here. I, I expected them to attack by now, to be honest. Either they don't know where this base is, which it's really not that hard to find with this beacon right here, or they're waiting for me to attack them for some reason. And because I'm bored, I'm gonna go to them, even though I think it's a trap, and destroy their base and beds. So that way they're forced to come and fight me at my base. We're back at their base. Okay, let's go ahead and let's quickly fly in before they notice, and let's cover up the cage real fast. And the cage is covered. Okay, now that that's taken care of, now let's have them wage war against my snow golems. Dude, oh. what oh. did he just do? Okay, it rained all the snow balls from the sky. Now start murdering. Do they just have to wage war against my snow golems while I get to watch? And now while they do this, I just gotta find their beds. Oh, I see some beds. They may have moved their beds into my igloo. Oh, he's got a totem. Okay, he's having to run. Let's just break all the beds. I doubt these are their beds, but I want to make sure. Oh, his totem activated. Nice, he's done. Oh my gosh, he's stuck up on me. Okay, where are they spawning? They're definitely spawning in here. Let's go around this side. Bed one, two, three, gone. Now let's spawn some penguin warriors. Get them, penguins. Oh, they have me in the net. Oh, I got out, I got out, I got out, I got out. One of them's done. Once they're all three dead, they're gonna have no more spawns here and they'll have to come to my base and fight me. He's gotta be getting low, come on. Yes, he's done, the penguins got him. He's done. See you later. Okay, let's make sure they're not spawning here anymore. Oh, they're not. This base is toast. Oh, and uh, you're toast too. And with that, their base is gone. So now let's just go back to our base and wait for the Eskimos. Because they literally have no choice but to fight me and my penguin army now. With the Eskimo base destroyed, they literally have no choice but to attack my final base. And I knew that they were going to throw everything they had to try and stop me from surviving till day 100. Oh, oh God. I was in my chest. I didn't even, wasn't even paying attention. Fly. Oh, they're taking up the beacon. Oh, they Look, he put himself in a cage. Oh, wait, no, I'm in a cage. I portable caged him. He's yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in a cage with him. Get out. Oh, God, fighting them in here is going to be tricky. Okay, let's go up here. Out the secret exit. Okay, I'm actually too big for the secret exit now. Quickly break our way out. Okay, we're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. Okay, we got him. We got him down there. Nice. Now we have them all down here where we want them. Okay, let's go and let's activate cold snap. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, my gosh. Look at them. They can't do anything. Now let's spawn a bunch more penguins. And now let the penguins fight them, too. Oh, my God. Look at this. You can't stop me. I'm too broken as a penguin. Look at my army. Dude, he's spawning another one. There is so many snow golems! <laughs> He's trying to move, he just can't move! Oh my god, dude. Okay, one died. Is he gone or is he spawning in? Let's see. Over there. Boom, I got him. Oh, would you look at that? Three little beds. One, two, three. Now we'll go ahead and just destroy all that. And now let's go back to the chaos. Oh, they're blowing them up. I'm one FPS right now. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> nice, they're slowly dying. There's only two more to go. His shield's gone. He's done. My shield's broke. No. There's only one more and he's under the water. And he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> what can they do? I have an army of snowmen. Wait, nope. Where the... No are way. you guys quitting? <laughs> yeah, dude. Are you kidding? <laughs> Dude, I had hundreds of snowmen. Okay, you know what? That's fair that you guys are quitting because having that many snowmen is pretty much unstoppable. Meaning, I just want to hear you say it. The penguin wins. Yeah, I guess the penguin wins. The penguin wins. Woo! The penguin wins.